Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be looking at 1KS protocol. 1KS protocol is currently running on the ZK Sync Testnet 2.0. 1KS protocol is an AMM DEX lending and borrow protocol. They currently allow a single token liquidity pools instead of a paired liquidity pools. The reason for that, according to them, is because they want a much better capital efficiency and be able to optimize impermanent loss. They also have their own stablecoin known as OSD. Our 1KS protocol has explicitly stated in their document that there's going to be an airdrop. What do you need to do to become eligible for this airdrop? It is very simple. You use the protocol regularly. And the good thing is that it's on testnet. So you're not spending refunds to use the protocol as regularly as possible. Another thing is testing out the project on ZKSync testnet 2.0 or interacting with a project on the ZK Sync mainnet could actually be a potential airdrop multiplier for the ZK Sync airdrop itself. Do not neglect any project that gives you the opportunity to perform one transaction or the other on the ZK Sync network. Having said all that, let's go ahead and participate in the 1KS protocol testnet. Okay, this is the 1KX protocol application. The first thing you need to do is to connect your MetaMask wallet. I want to believe that every one of you already have the ZK Sync Testnet 2.0 network installed in your MetaMask. If you don't have it, please go and watch my other videos on ZK Sync in my channel where I talked about how to install the ZK Sync 2.0 network in your MetaMask. So click on Connect Wallet, MetaMask next and connect our wallet is connected right now and we're on the zk sync network next we're going to request for testnet tokens it is simple just click on testnet tokens and you're going to have it a drop directly into your wallet look at that the testnet tokens has been sent to my wallet address already so how do you see your testnet tokens just click on your address and all of them are going to appear i just received link usdc dial and btc the amount of the tokens are going to appear here very soon. Now, these other ones, each and this USDC are the ones I have already from using the ZK Sync Testnet 2.0 previously. And OSD is the stablecoin for 1KS protocol. All right. Next, we are going to trade or swap, and then we are going to provide liquidity. Let's start by swapping USDC into the 1SK protocol stablecoin, which is OSD. So we select USDC and we also select OSD. Then enter an amount of USDC, 20 for example. That is going to give us about 19.98 OSD. So click on swap, sign the transaction in your MetaMax. We're going to sign another one. For each transaction you perform, you need to make two signings. Swap is done successfully. Let's try something else. Link. One link to OSD. That will give us about 5,000 plus OSD. Click on swap. Sign as usual. And wait to sign another one. Swap is also successful. Guys, you need to test every feature. Swap to every token that you can swap to. Let's also swap some DAI into OSD. 20 DAI. Click on swap and sign in your MetaMax. Sign again. That is it. Swap is done successfully. All right. Now we have done enough swapping for now. Next thing we need to do is to go and provide some liquidity into the pools available. Before then, if you click here, you're going to see that we now have enough OSD to provide liquidity in the pools. Click on pools. These are the various pools available at the moment. Now, there are various links you can go through to provide liquidity. You can click on new pool, you can click on deposit, and you can also click on the plus sign, whichever is going to take you to the same page where you'll be providing your liquidity. We're going to provide liquidity on all the pools. So first, we click on this plus, enter an amount, 500, click on add liquidity, sign or confirm in your Metamax, Sign in, sign in again, 
how liquidity is successfully deposited. Remember that when you provide liquidity, you are actually lending out your funds. And this is a lending and borrow protocol. So when you lend, you can also borrow. You can see right here that they have the borrow button. You click on it. This is going to pop up for you to borrow any assets of your choice. Let's get done with providing liquidity before we can do some borrowing. 20 BTC. Click on add liquidity. And sign. Also sign again. I already told you that every transaction you perform, you need to make double sign. Okay. Successfully deposited. Let's also provide liquidity for link. 10. Click on add liquidity. Sign in. And sign in again. Done. You can also remove your liquidity anytime you want. All you have to do is to click on this minor sign that says remove. This page is going to pop up for you. You will see your balance of what you have provided as liquidity. When you enter the amount you want to remove from liquidity. Click on remove liquidity and sign in your MetaMax. And that will be it. Do that for every one of these pools. I don't really want this video to be too long. Let's go to the next one, which is borrow. Click on it. Select the assets you want to borrow. I want to borrow some B2C. I'm going to need to provide collateral before I can actually borrow. I have 80 B2C left. And now I want to provide collateral of 2 B2C. That has given me a borrow limit of 1.7 B2C. I'll just enter 1. Click on borrow. And sign in your Metamax. And sign again and deposit is successful look at that because we have borrowed the repay button has now popped up for us so anytime we want to repay what we have borrowed we just click on repay we enter the amount we want to repay click on repay and sign in your metamax and our collateral will be returned whatever we have borrowed will also be cancelled so like i said do this for every one of these pools and do it as regularly as possible that is going to increase your airdrop allocation from this project. All right, guys, that is it on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I trust you got value and you like this video. So go ahead and smash the like button, comment and share this video everywhere and anywhere that you can. Thank you once again. I'm going to see you in my next one. We are going to make it. Bye.